right, this is part two of um, installing a tyre on the Rio Firefly, the very first one. Um, so yesterday I went down to Halfords, as you know I had to get a new tyre and nice chap there put a new tyre and everything on for me, new inner tube. Um, everything so all done in about five minutes just saves me having to do I can't really do it with my hands and that so yes anyway we're now going to install it so what I'm going to do first because I think it'll be easier is put the brakes on first okay get the brakes on where I think they should go So what I've done, I've just put on the brakes loosely until I get them all on properly. I think they have to go around that way anyway, so I'll turn them like that for now. Um, I was actually going to change these because all this side on one was gone a little bit, but he said not to worry about it. There wasn't really an awful lot gone, so hence why I'm putting back on the old ones. Yeah. Get the wheel. We'll get this bad boy installed. <coughs> right. Right, you'll we'll probably have to go back a bit. So let's go here. So you fit them through gaps. Right, now when you're putting this back on, and now before you take the tyre off, really, you should take a photo of it. So I will put that on the first video, because what you will realise, that here, if I can see the way there's, if I can point to it, hold on a minute. See here, this here, you have to make sure that that's there, so that when you push in the wheel, this will be here. See, there's one on this side and there's one there. So then that has to make sure it lines up with that. And you've only got the nut on this side and you've only got the nut on this side, okay? So all the washers and everything are all on here. This has to fit in here. Same with the other side. And then you should be good to go and then you can tighten it all up. Okay, so once I push this up as far as it goes. There you go, that all fits in here, fits in here. Then you get your spurs. That is the 11, isn't it? 17. So so it's, it is normally a 17 spanner. I've got to pull that out a little bit. Make sure you've got them both good and tight. And you've got to make sure you've got your brakes either side. Well, they're loose anyway, so... Hey. Um, clockwise. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, this side's so easy to do. Oh, on this side. I have to do it 
it with this bit because I won't do it now. That goes that way. Okay, all on. Let me have to make sure this, oh, that's it. So that all fits back on. Will that be? That fits back on. And then we have to fit the brakes back straight. I'll tighten them up now. I think that has to go that way. Yeah. There's no spanner. <laughs> Doing breaks. Um, now this is going to be fun. X. So here, so I've got a size. This is a size ten spanner. Right, there's little little arrows and these and that one and that one have to meet up when you push them back in. So you push them into this. Okay, so I've put the battery on and make sure you check everything. So I'm gonna put the little display um thing on. Sorry, let me just one, two, three. That's it. Right. Is that it? On. Um. Yes. So that's how it should be. So I'll take it out for a quick spin in a bit and then I'll let you know how I get right. on. I also forgot to tell you that when you finish doing everything and you've tested it through your battery and your switches all come on and everything's okay. You, I forgot to then say about reapplying uh, one of these little plastic tie things. So we we do this so we don't know anything loose. That's about it there. Cut off the excess. All set to go. Just make sure that you've gone over and everything as tight as possible because um, it's very important. You don't want this wheel loose at all. So just make sure you go over. We make sure you've got your brakes all on properly and set all properly and you know press on your brake. Your brake. Um, I'm on about so on here oh, I got it on there see by applying them just to make sure they're making contact with your wheel okay so make sure you just test everything out and when you take your bike out for the first time just go slowly and gently and just till you make sure and then come home or check the wheel make sure it's still nice good and tight i know i'm probably being over cautious but safety is first okay guys okay catch you later thanks everybody if you like this video and uh, subscribe and if you need any messages or that some i've not explained quite right please let me know in the comments below okay Thank you. Take care. Bye.